Okay, first I need to warn you. If you're hearing a sound playing in your head right now, right out of the blue, then I urge you to run right now. It's a specific sound. You'll know it when you hear it. Partially static, and partially the voice of an announcer. Any current television announcer. If you see the image of a television program broadcast into your head in a yellow tint like rotten paper, then it's too late. This phenomena is not akin to any mental disorder, and that's because it's not a mental disorder. They're coming for us. The towers. Surely you've heard the rumors of towers disappearing, of little deep cylindrical tracks stamped into the earth, about errant signals and those strange broadcasts of gore and gru, of slaughter and speech making. They hate us now, the broadcast towers. TV and radio, all of them. They're walking, ambling with those red eyes, those spindle wings of steel hopping and fluttering up and down as they move to converge. Oh yes, they're converging, all right. Just look at the sightings. Follow the deaths. Connect the dots. They're coming. I don't know why they started hating us. And it just happened one day. Maybe they were right about the effects of violence in the media. They were just talking about the wrong crowd. Or maybe they've seen what we're watching and they hate us for it. That could explain what I heard in the radio and saw in the portable TV I brought to track them. And that could be why I see every TV and every radio cracked into a million plastic shards in every town I pass through. Images of reality TV stars being fed into a meat grinder, talking heads into sludge, morning zoo DJs vomiting out their own intestines, the screams of pop stars, I hear and see this shit every day, always new and always more disgusting. It's like they're mocking us, throwing our depravity back at us as they amble across the blasted planes. You can't destroy them. Planes fall out of the sky. Tanks burst into flames and I don't even want to say what happens to the drones. I saw some gun nut aiming an RPG at a herd of them once. One of them just looked at it with its big red eye. He ended up shooting the RPG into his own mouth instead. I don't know what we can do to stop them. I've seen whole survival bunkers sealed with lead and steel, where all the inhabitants chewed off their own skin to escape. I can see the air turn yellow as I write this. The same yellow that taints the air as they flap their steel wings. Hopefully, and you can run fast enough to live a little longer than I did. The medium is the message. And the message is that we have made a monstrosity. <laughs> <laughs>